Today's video showcases thrilling car chases between law enforcement and criminals, unveiling scenes hidden around street corners and capturing dramatic moments that will keep viewers on the edge of their seats. Join us as we explore the world of these impressive pursuits, where speed and daring combine to create an unforgettable experience. After committing a lane violation on the highway he had just traversed, the driver was flagged down by a police car. However, he seemed dissatisfied, asserting that he had stayed within the proper lane. The, gas station. the vehicle continued moving, ignoring repeated requests to pull over. It wasn't until a police car overtook and forcefully cut in front of him that he attempted to flee. With the sirens activated, indicating previous non-compliance with warnings, the police had the authority to use necessary force. The driver resisted fiercely, leading two officers to employ handcuffs to restrain him from behind. Persistently, he argued his innocence in this instance, unaware that the traffic camera had ca captured the entire violation. Even after being subdued and placed in the vehicle, he remained defiant. After receiving a report of a speeding vehicle, local police promptly initiated a pursuit. The officer stepped out with the intention of inspecting the vehicle ahead, but the driver unexpectedly fled. The intense chase unfolded as the car sped onto a bridge reaching an estimated 70 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. After turning onto a local narrow road, the vehicle continued to accelerate, ignoring repeated police commands to stop. It wasn't until the police car intervened that the suspect's vehicle was forced off the road into the roadside grass. The driver hastily exited and fled into the nearby woods, but the police swiftly caught up and apprehended him with gunfire. A woman on the passenger seat remained. The vehicle was found to lack documentation, a driver's license, and matched the description of a previously stolen car. Subsequently, both individuals were taken to the federal police station for questioning, 
The true owner of the vehicle arrived later, and charges were pressed against both individuals shortly after. After identifying a red car exceeding the speed limit through ra remote radar, the police vehicle initiated a pursuit, activating its lights. However, it appeared the driver was attempting to evade, dangerously overtaking several vehicles on the road and entering a narrow stretch through the residential area of Pulaski County. The current estimated speed was around 70 miles per hour, surpassing the 50 mile per hour limits on this densely populated road. The red car maneuvered through the residential area in an attempt to shake off the pursuing police vehicle, but eventually, it reached a dead end just as the police car closed in. The collision emitted a plume of smoke from the police car. The red car was also rendered immobile. The suspect was apprehended on the spot, and the officer promptly called for assistance to the local police headquarters. Okay, roll over. Okay. We just took the 2A. We're both 1037. We're coming into Van Buren. PD, we're the local police in Arkansas were in pursuit of a Chevy Silverado after the driver attempted to run a red light. Right now. Okay, U turn. We're making a U turn. We're coming, going back eastbound. The chase ensued as the driver attempted to evade at high speed, reaching a peak of 122 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. Another police vehicle was deployed to assist in this pursuit. There's no houses. Nothing but a big field right there. We're still eastbound monitoring. Speed's 100. Speed's 100. Speed's a hundred. We're continuing on uh, eastbound. We're passing. After a prolonged chase, both police vehicles coordinated to implement false stopping measures on the pickup truck. Despite the collision, the driver persisted in attempting to escape, revealing suspicious elements beyond simply running a red light. The fleeing vehicle covered approximately 15 miles, posing a threat to the police car in close pursuit. Exit 20. Uh, we're coming up to uh, Merle Lane. It looks like driver side damage now from my pit. Yeah, more driver side damage. Somebody on the right shoulder. 
Observing the imminent danger of the truck merging onto the highway ahead, the officers realized the potential hazard it could pose to other vehicles on the road. Okay, roll over. Our correction, he got him pitted out. Pitted out. People, pitted out a little more very. The subsequent intervention forced the vehicle off the road, sending it careening into the grassy area below. All occupants were instructed to raise their hands. In the vehicle were two men and a pregnant woman seated in the back. The rented vehicle, lacking proper documentation, was determined to be involved in offenses including speeding, disorderly conduct and endangering other vehicles. After receiving a report about a black car running a red light and speeding over 140 miles per hour on the highway, local police promptly initiated a pursuit. Upon catching up, the driver seemed inclined to stop, but as the officer stepped out of the patrol car, the driver accelerated rapidly, fleeing the scene. A thrilling chase ensued, with sirens blaring. After covering approximately 20 kilometers on the highway, the suspect made a sudden left turn onto a local road. Zigzagging through residential areas, darting past small shrubs. The pursuit only came to a halt when confronted by a red car blocking the path. The driver was instructed to exit the vehicle. Upon inspecting the car, a white powdery substance was discovered in a bag behind the passenger seat, suspected to be drugs. Perhaps this in discovery induced fear, prompting the driver to attempt escape immediately upon sighting the police. Upon receiving an emergency call from a driver reporting a hit and run involving a blue pickup truck, the police quickly identified the vehicle heading south on the highway. Sirens blared and signals to stop were activated. However, the driver of the blue truck showed no intention of pulling over, forcing the officer to employ force to bring the vehicle to a halt. A scuffle ensued between the police and the suspect as he resisted arrest and attempted to flee. Get out of the truck! Get out of the truck! Get out of the truck! Get out of the damn truck! Do it now! Get out! He's tasing me on Mark's car! He's tasing me! He's trying to anyway. Get on the ground. Why are you so mad, bro? Unmarked car. Claiming innocence in the collision, he insisted on being unrelated to the incident. However, it became apparent that he was not in a sober state, with the scent of alcohol emanating from his body. A red car reported as missing was spotted heading towards Arkansas. The police, within minutes, determined the direction of the suspect. Upon discovery, the suspect abandoned the car and fled into a farmer's field to seek cover. The panic induced by a collision with a pole and a utility box limited her escape. An officer intervened, instructing her to move back onto the road. The suspect was subsequently apprehended and taken to the local police station. Additionally, a man found in her car was identified as an accomplice in the theft and escape. Both individuals faced multiple charges, especially given their prior criminal records for theft. Uh, I'm not grabbing that dog. A dark green Mazda without a license plate is traveling on National Highway 165 heading south when it attracts the attention of a police car. The police car activates its siren, but the driver of the car shows no intention of stopping. 
Observing the sparse traffic on the road, the police car decides to intervene tactically, executing a precision maneuver on the left side, away from the passenger side where no one is present. The car veers off the road to the right and comes to a stop on a grassy area. The sole occupant, the driver, is instructed to exit the vehicle and lie down on the ground, facing multiple charges including speeding, driving without a license and lacking a license plate, the driver is apprehended without sustaining any injuries. What are your thoughts on these dangerous situations? The courage of the police officers has contributed to minimizing traffic collisions. Their presence on the streets serves as a constant reminder for us to drive safely and adhere to traffic laws. I hope this information proves useful in your daily life. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates. Goodbye and see you again soon.